Well, hello. My body's pretty beat up. I'm gonna get some work done on it at the Fix Athletic Injury and Recovery Center, Matthews, North Carolina. Visit my old friend Ken. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I've been in the learning mode lately. What if I, uh, what if I, what if I work on him? Do you, do you think uh, he wants you to learn on him? I mean, what are we getting ourselves into? What type of massage know. is this? Hey, Ken! Long time no see! Hello! <laughs> Come here, man. Great to see you. Great to see you. I haven't seen you since before this all started. Hey, Sam. Hey, guys, you can visit Ken. You can see we've done a lot of videos with him in the past. And uh, yes, it's been a while. And today I'm going to work on you. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's what, you're, that's what I'm paying you to do. <laughs> I'm paying you to work on you. Well, if you can't see underneath, I'm smiling. Okay. Aww. We can tell by your eyes. You're right. I was gonna let you know that I haven't read anything on how to do this. <laughs> I haven't even opened a book or Googled anything, so this could be interesting. All right, Ken, I need you to come over here and look at these uh, pictures I have on your wall. Okay. All right, so this is the muscular system, right? So this is what your body looks like without skin, uh, all that stuff. This is not what we're working on. Okay. We're gonna be working on your bones. Oh, really? So you need to pick whatever bones are hurting the most on you right now, and I'm gonna start, you know, doing my thing, you know. Can bones Bone hurt? therapy. Bones, bones hurt. Do your bones, your bones don't hurt? Not thought, necessarily. Your bones joint? The joints can. Your joints hurt? Oh, okay, what joint, what joint? Pick a joint. Uh, Pick a joint. My Pick a joint. right knee has been giving me some trouble at the, at the patella right there. This elbow. Could always use some work. I broke this arm. Yeah. Here, here. You broke it playing basketball. Playing basketball. I broke it in three places. Yeah. Well, why don't you uh, lie down on the table? Okay. And I'll assess your right arm. Okay. We'll start there, and uh, I usually like to work with my upper body, with uh, your upper body going down. Um, you like death metal? I love death metal. It's gonna be a relaxing session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little nervous. <laughs> what is your hottest? We got some strobe lights going too. <laughs> we well, I did not bring the, the smoke making machine or anything. <laughs> um, got any like really high capsaicin cream in here? Like uh, uh, cryoderm is, is pretty capsaicin heavy. All right, so this stuff has a lot of the stuff that burns, right? Because yeah. we want it to burn. Once it burns? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. This is this is getting exciting. You usually apply this with gloves, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> not this one. Shoot. Just don't didn't think about that. <laughs> All right. Don't gonna, touch your eyes. So you see the joint is composed. Oh, look at that scar right there. That he, he's not lying. He did have surgery there. Yeah, he did break it playing basketball. Yep. Wow. See this this is something that never heals. You'll have to come back to me at least once a week for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I might need to sit down. <laughs> he's gonna do a Yelp review now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see here. Go ahead and rest your arm on my trap here. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. God, this is, I feel completely out of my element right now. <laughs> is this is good or bad. Right? So we're working on all the muscles that lead into the joint. Okay. Because, uh, because I think that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You're working yeah. distally to proximally, I yeah, see. Yeah, distally to proximally, which one is, which way? Proximally is going out. You're going this this going out. Yeah, I knew that. Distal I knew that. I was just testing you. Okay. No, this music's just not loud enough. <laughs> All right. He just left you hanging. He did. What type of practitioner now is I'm he? Now I'm feeling really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if, if your practitioner is not using more than their fingers, then they're, they really don't know what they're doing. So what I should really do is scoot down a little bit on the table here, <laughs> and I'm gonna use my knee. <laughs> Right there. There, see now I'm, the knee, my knee is way bigger than my fingers. So I put a lot of pressure on. No, 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 no. that's okay. That, that's pain is weakness leaving the body. Yeah, that's okay. what I heard. All right. Well, see, his, see how red his arm is getting right now? Yes. That's blood flow. I just, I just, I just healed the man. So I think now I want to see, I want to test the function of your arm after I've uh, worked on it. Okay. You're going to work on me now. Okay. Using the arm I just fixed. So I should oh, okay. I should be able to notice a difference now. My eyes, I do feel much better. <laughs> Shut up. You're lying. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yeah, I feel amazing. All right. It's not a session if we're not half naked. All right. So you know that uh, heavy elbow thing? You know? Yeah. 
I cannot stop doing this. Yeah. Lately. Like everywhere I freaking go, I'm like this. Right, right. Like I've noticed it more and more. I have to catch myself doing it every moment of the day. I'm like this all day long. Yeah. And that actually he does that when he deadlifts as well. He'll shrug. Oh, okay. Um, and Spud, an old head power lifter that we worked with, he also noted that uh, John has some tight top ass syndrome. So your back gets pumped up quick? Yeah. Okay. So his glutes can Whoa. <laughs> tight top ass syndrome? He says yes. my ass is tight on top. Okay. My lower back is perpetually pumped all day long. A lot of times when the traps are overactive, it means that you have a lot of muscle around the joint, so it kind of lifts your arm because the tricep and lat hit each other. So there's going to be a little bit of a lift there in general mm. just because of the m amount of muscle that you have. But these shouldn't be overfiring as much as they are, but They're ev firing. everybody has that. Yeah. Everybody does. How do you go about assessing this? So you can tell, let's see, let's put your arms at your side and bring your arms out laterally and come back down, go a little bit slower, come up, and you see that the trap is the first thing to initiate as he's coming up right uh. there, right? Come on back down. Now try to bring your arms up without your traps. See there, delts fire first. Mm. And relax it. So this is the initial engagement of arm movement. So he's gonna do this mm -hmm. instead of that, right? Yeah, go ahead and lift that left arm out. Oh, it popped. Yeah, relax it. Nice. Okay, there's two arms. We have two sides. We have two sides for everything. Bring your arm out. And relax it. Did pop, just didn't make a noise. I felt it move. Okay. The other thing you have to do is make sure that these stay long. If these are shortened, then they're going to want to shorten even more. So we've got to make sure that these stay long in order for the rest of the arm muscles to be able to do their job properly. Is this, Am I bigger than last time? You are. Awesome. Yeah, you are. <laughs> fishing for a compliment from I, my I know you are. You're totally here. fishing. How often do you see these types of issues? Uh, the traps, everybody. Out of town. Including myself. Like, traps are just... Oh, you work on the traps? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can help with that. Okay. All right. He has a knee for that. Okay, let the arm dangle there. Can you ever do jujitsu? No. I think you'd be good at it. Yeah, I probably yeah. would. It's not you would thing. kill. Yeah. You would kill it. Your blade, it will kill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try that on you. All right. Sit down. I think I've learned how to do this properly by, by feel. All right. So I couldn't see what he was doing, but I could feel exactly what he was doing. Was Great, here. you're dressing for the part, I see. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I want you to lean your neck to the left. And back. You have pretty good hands, Juice. This is my elbow. You're wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> you know, I'm not laughing at my own joke. Go to the other side. Lean your head to the right. And back. I'm going to try some jujitsu here. All right, I want you to really let this arm hang. There, yeah, like that. All right. I feel like I'm doing the rope on I want you to lean your head to the right again. Oh, you hear a pop? I got some cracks in my neck there. Some pop, all right. All right, you can continue on my traps now. I'll loosen you up. All right. Um, I think the other thing we should work on is lats. Okay. Because a lot of times, the things that are underneath the arm will inhibit a little bit and the traps will feel like they have to do more work. Oh, All right. look at that stance, that's a power stance. That's right. Ken only does it with power. <laughs> All right, let your arm hang off the table. Now what I want you to do is reach over your head. With which hand? With this one. Yeah, just kind of like take it, reach overhead and just lengthen everything out. And then we'll let it lay down right there. And to reach your fingers. Yeah, like that. Take a breath. And relax the arm. Ooh. Okay, go ahead and reach overhead. Oh, you get somewhere interesting there with that tricep. What type of interesting things are we doing right now, Ken? I am finding that this Terry's major and tricep are stuck together right there. Oh, 
Okay, let's try overhead right there. Reach, elongate, and lay it down. Let's try it, let's do an assessment since we've only done one arm. Mm -hmm. Lift. Feeling like different one side to the other than feeling like one. My left shoulder is way tighter than my right. Gotta yeah. see how that opens up right there. I like this, this feels good, yeah. 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 Let's get the other one down shot. Lat work is so hard to get done by yourself. Oh, yeah. see, like sitting there with like a roller or pipes in there. Yeah. Just on the ground, you know. Are you finding similar issues on this left side? Yeah, about the same. A little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. tighter like. Right You're right there. there. Yeah. Okay, reach overhead. Reach through your fingertips. Alright. Well, left delt feels better. Left delt feels better. Why was it here? It was yeah. tight as hell here. Yeah. When you, when you told me to lift up a second ago, now I don't feel it. So, so if you take away some of the inhibitions of the under, underneath the arm, uh, these muscles can work more, more proper. So you're saying to build big shoulders, you have to loosen up the back. You gotta loosen up the armpit. Ooh, if it's cool. like, what's the one thing as we get older that people say about their shoulders? They can't reach up, right? Yeah. They feel pinching, they lose range of motion. A lot of it is underneath in the armpit, and it's, they just don't go overhead enough. Yeah. Spend a lot of time uh, hanging. Yeah. Like passively hanging. I've yeah. always found that passive stretch to be one of the best ones. Absolutely. In everything I do, it, it really it fixed. It helped a lot with the tendonitis issues I, I was having. Yeah. All throughout here, shoulders, spine, it's amazing. Ah, so we are doing calves now. Yeah, he's going to amputate them, so. Oh. Uh, not quite that far. Scoot up just a little bit. Okay. They're tight, man. Oh, yeah. You can feel the. the this muscle is the gastrocnemius. Mm -hmm. The one behind that is the soleus. And they're pretty glued together right there. Is that something that you typically find with John? Uh, I find a lot with runners, yeah, for sure. Would you say this is probably one of the most painful areas to work on? Most definitely. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of nerve, a lot of tension. As long as he can't see my face. We can see As long as he can't see my face or see my voice, he doesn't know. <laughs> see your voice? <laughs> see your voice. We can all see your voice. Did I see, see my voice? Yes. <laughs> Brian's laughing right now as he edits this video. Oh, from, oh, from Brian. Uh, it's, it's, ah! I think I'm the one supposed to be screaming right now, right? <laughs> if your massage, if your body worker isn't screaming as he works on you, then he's just not trying hard enough. This works really good. When people come in with plantar fasciitis, yeah. I find nine out of ten times it's not the plantar fascia. It's either the calves or the hamstrings. Hamstrings? That are pulling on the heel and pulling on the plantar fascia. Oh. What did you notice just then? When I was testing his dorsiflexion, mm -hmm. the calves were releasing, but I could feel his tib anterior tightening. A lot of times if your calves are tight, it pulls you into plantar flexion, and then tib anterior has to work that much harder. Any of the external digital longest, any of the muscles that do dorsiflexion. Mm -hmm. right, so you're saying that my shin pumps might be coming from tight calves? Absolutely. I thought it was just all bulking. <laughs> oh and the more carbs I eat, the tighter my lower back gets, the tighter my rear delts get, and the tighter my shins get. <laughs> you can't even imagine how many carbs I'm eating right now. I'm eating a lot too. I'm yeah. carb loading yeah. right now because the race is Saturday. Uh -huh. oh. oh! So I'm getting like 1,100 grams a day Wait. of carbs. Wait, what? You eat more carbs than me right now? <laughs> yeah. What? I'm eating 1,100 carbs a day right now. John eats about a thousand. Thousand? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. what the hell? <laughs> what, what is it? Mostly rice? What is it? Rice, sweet potatoes, lots of fruit. Yeah. Um, cottage any, cheese. Any honey buns? Moon pies? No honey buns. No. I'm I'm trying to keep it clean. Cheerios. Cheerios is like the cleanest cereal I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move those around. See how you do. All right. Feels good, Jim. Uh, I wasn't going to get that worked on because I was just going to deal with it, but yeah. now that you fixed it, I don't have to. Sweet. <laughs> so what else? You said low back? Low back is tight, yeah. Low back? Yeah. A quarter turn to your right. Oh, we've been doing wide <laughs> building puzzles now? Quarter turn to the right? Right there. No. <laughs> quarter turn to the left. Quarter turn to the right. All right, then let your arms dangle off the edge, and then reach for the floor. 
Uh, QLs. Okay. Ah. Uh, QLs. Are QLs. Cool. Okay, let your head drop. Press into your feet. Turn your tail on. That's where it gets tight. Okay. Yeah, Press. find it. Show this boss. Press. Curl. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go on your side. I have a better idea. Approach that guy. <laughs> what is, okay, what am I doing? Uh, biting on the pillow. What you on your side? Biting on the pillow. Okay. <laughs> oh, pillow biting out there. So you found that QL was a little wonky? QLs are a little, a little overly tight. Oh, that capsaicin's really working. Right? <laughs> okay, let that drop back right there. The QL's typically pretty tight, um, like the psoas. Uh, yeah. Mountain folks? I don't find that QL and psoas get stuck on each other. Ken is just trying to unsmush the parts that are smushed. All right, so your back muscles yeah. in the back are shortened and they're pulling the spine into more of a lumbar curvature than it needs. Yeah. So I want you to think about using the front muscles to soften back. Yeah, like that, so that you're lengthening those muscles in the back. And then you pick the vertebrae up one at a time and then set the vertebrae down one at a time articulate them kind of like a string of pearls yeah. you're lifting one pearl at a time up setting one pearl at a time back down and you're using more glutes and hamstrings than you are abdominals the abdominals should sink back and relax back that's the hard part for you right that's the part yeah. you've got to work on is the rectus abdominis wants to pull for you yeah. so instead of letting the psoas sink back this is a great way to stretch the back out those yeah. people that have that anterior tilt to their pelvis that forward tilt like this. Uh -huh. This is a great exercise to help relieve the back. My turn. All right, Ken. We're good. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something you've never seen before. All right. Do you know what this is? Uh, no. What is that? All right. So this is what one of your uh, discs looks like in your spine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this to it. You're gonna do that. To yeah, it's gonna feel okay. really good. I'm gonna just do one because. Just do one. Yeah, I charge by the disc. By the disc. <laughs> I don't know if it's any budget, but so what, what we're gonna do is um, we'll put this slip it under. Okay. Find it right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you choose which disc you wanted? I, I did not. He doesn't get to choose. <laughs> I didn't even know she was professional. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. Yeah, a tripod with your feet. Here. Tripod with my feet. Okay. Yeah. So you want to make sure that these two points connect. This heel connects. Okay. Okay. You showed me that, uh -huh. but I already knew that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. Well, so I learned that from you. What I'm gonna do is. I mean, you did write the book, right, John? You're you're gonna bite on this pillow. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna jump. Oh no. <laughs> 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 All right, all right, just relax. Just relax. All right. He was serious about biting on the pillow. All right, now I want you to tuck your tail in. <laughs> You're not tucking your tail in. Oh, I tried. Right, now you gotta think, when you look at this, yeah. this is what you have to visualize. I can't do this alone. We work okay. together when we do body okay. positions, right? So visualize it, okay. All right, so visualize your spine doing <laughs> <laughs> Did you find your spine exploding? <laughs> is that what you're going to say? Yes. Hey, Brian, can we have an animation of this, please? Okay. <laughs> no, I do want to point out to the uh, viewers here, this arm is still very red. <laughs> yeah. That just goes to show how good of work I can do. He's, he's healing. Okay. Arms overhead. Wrestler cures back pain. Pow! You hear that? I felt it. You felt it? Yeah. Wow, I don't know if I can move. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll help you up. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, now I want you to lift your arms up to the side. All right. So now go in front. Right, arms forward. All right, I just want to show you. Listen up. Okay. Right. Do the hokey pokey. Yeah. All right, don't you feel like a million bucks? 1.5? 1. 1.5? 1. 1. 1. 1.5 yeah. million? That's how much each disc costs. So that one's <laughs> right. so Guys, if you do want to um, get any body work done by me, I don't provide it. I get to choose my clients. Uh, if you're looking to get any body work done in the Charlotte area, you go to Ken at Yay. The Fix Athletic Injury and Recovery Center. Uh, I've been coming to Ken for quite a while now. I've learned a lot. 
uh, and I continue to come here because I don't know enough. You can always <laughs> learn from people um, who are better than you. And you feel like he's helped your athletic performance as well, <laughs> yes, yeah? Yes, he has helped me out a lot. And I, I, you know, I do, my calves feel really good right now, so. Nice. That, that looks pretty good. I think we're gonna focus on a little bit more there. Okay. If you continue eating those carbs, get that Spartan race done. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on the table. My pleasure. And thank you for being here. Absolutely. And uh, I'm gonna get some thanks more Thanks for work. coming in. Yeah, it's thanks. great to see you guys. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay.